Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. For many people, when it's your last day aboard a cruise ship, you're on a tighter budget, you're tired of all the walking, the swimming, the dancing, maybe all the eating and drinking you've been doing, and you'd like to relax without further breaking the bank. So here's how my friend and I respected our physical limits and end of cruise budget before disembarking the Norwegian epic in beautiful St. Kitts. St. Kitts is a Caribbean island known for its lush landscapes, its white sandy beaches, it's part of the dual island nation of St. Kitts and Nevis, and in the capital Basse-Terre, you will find well-preserved colonial architecture, and the island is also known for the iconic Mount Liamuiga volcano. Since Basta was our last cruise stop, we wanted something relaxing and simple. There's no real beach within walking distance of Port Zanti. The nearest beaches are Frigate Bay Beach, which is 10 minutes away by taxi, Friars Bay Beach, 15 minutes away by taxi, and Cockle Shell Beach, which is 30 minutes away. Another option would have been to rent a car. There's an Avis just across from the south entrance to the port, or take an excursion. I had been on a full island tour of St. Kitts on another cruise back in 2017 and absolutely loved it. But this time, at that point in our vacation, we wanted no hassle and just lay on a beach and enjoy the views. We bought tickets from a taxi operator called Fighting Cock, yes that's the name, and it cost us $20 each both ways. They give us a colorful wristband as proof of payment, which kind of acts like an engagement ring and means you're already taken. So all the tour operators will stop asking if you need a taxi and you can walk around the port, do some window shopping and wait until your taxi is full and ready to leave. Even though we chose the farthest beach, the 30 minutes went by super fast because we had such incredible scenery to look at on our way there. Cockle Shell Beach is a secluded two mile stretch of sand at Cockle Shell Bay. Our taxi driver led us out at the end of the beach near the Reggae Beach Bar and Grill. Here they serve many different barbecue dishes such as fresh grilled fish, lobster, ribs, beef burgers and frozen tropical drinks. Plus, you can get great Wi-Fi here if you're a customer. That can be practical if you didn't take the internet package on the ship, if you need to send a few pictures to family or friends, or you forgot to tell your boss you were going on a cruise in the first place. I will link the website in the description below. You can see the full menu, prices and other infos. This beach is protected by hills, so the waters are calm and crystal clear. There's super views of the volcano peak on the island of Nevis and tons of sunshine due to the southern exposure. We didn't feel like being in a crowded area, so we found this spot all the way to the end of the beach. There's a cement block, we laid out our towels there for free and jumped into the water, which was refreshing and so beautiful. We soaked up the sun, we swam, explored the beach and admired the seashells. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment down below. Doing so really helps our channel to grow and it motivates us to make more content like this one. Our taxi came back to pick us up and we asked them to stop at a Timothy Hill Overlook which is a spot where the Caribbean and Atlantic oceans meet. Our day in St. Kitts was short but packed with unforgettable moments and we respected our end of cruise budget. When we got back to Port Zante, we did some shopping at the cruise pier and we got to watch a representation by a group of masquerade dancers. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.